Hey guys, it's April. So today I'm going to show you how to get this look. Um, this is my version of the Nell Brinkley girl. So I have been staring at a lot of Nell Brinkley illustrations online lately and I just was like, I want to be one of those girls. <laughs> They're so cute and um, a while back I posted a video with this look and hair and everything and you guys responded really well to it and asked if I was gonna do a tutorial and I'm finally making one. So to avoid having a super long intro, I'm just gonna get into the tutorial, but if you stick around to the end, I will get a little more in depth into this look and its conception. So yeah, tutorial. Start off by creating a deep side part. Section away a piece of your bangs, pin them up to keep them out of your face. With a 1 inch curling wand, take small sections of your hair and spiral curl them in a downward direction and do this all over your hair. If you don't want to use any heat, you can feel free to use hair curlers, perhaps perm rods would work well, and just do a wet set to prevent any damage. Something else I'd like to mention, don't worry about the little fish hooks on the end of the curls because you're going to brush it out and tease it up and they won't be so noticeable. Take a paddle brush and brush through your curls, get them nice and soft and fluffy and then you're going to pin the hair up by scrunching it up and using bobby pins to keep it in place. I am doing this method because I of course have very long hair. If you are someone with shorter hair, all you really have to do is brush it out and tease it a bit and you have the right length so you don't really need to do any pinning up. At this point you can finesse your hair and try to make sure that you have the desired shape. And don't forget to conceal your pins well. You can take down your bang section and with your curling wand, take tiny sections of your hair and spiral curl them downwards. Of course, if you don't want to use heat, feel free to use the hair curlers or perm rods. Just make sure that they're going in a downward direction. With a comb or paddle brush, go ahead and brush through your bangs. Get them really fluffy and full. You can feel free to tease them at the roots a little bit if you need to. And then I like to just sit there and roll them up underneath themselves. And then I just pin it and I create a bit of a faux bang. Of course, if you want to go for that water wave look, you definitely can do that instead. I'm giving my hair the once over and making sure that all my pins are hidden and I like the shape and I'm really just smoothing the top to really define that French bob look. To get that soft baby smooth complexion, I'm going to take a silicone based primer and apply that all over my face to really fill in those pores. With a matte, medium to full coverage foundation in your skin color, take a buffing brush and go ahead and buff that into the skin to create a blank canvas. Since we are going to be doing a blush heavy look, it's always nice to have a very blank face. I feel like it really helps achieve that dolly-like look that I feel is associated with the Nell Brinkley girl. Now that we are all buffed out, go ahead and take a powder puff and loose setting powder and set your entire face. Once again, this is going to help create that very doll-like complexion. With a fluffy blending brush, I am picking up a muted olive green eyeshadow and I'm going to work this into the very inner corner of my eye really deep into the socket and I'm going to sweep this up into the eyebrow. 
Next, I'm going to take that same brush and same color and work this on the outer corner of my eye, sweeping towards the tail of my eyebrow. What we really want to do, though, is leave that center part of the lid blank. With that same brush, I'm picking up a peachy nude eyeshadow, and I'm going to apply this on the center of the eyelid. And this is really going to help define that blank space and kind of give the illusion of that glossy, shiny eye. Same brush, I'm picking up a dark green eyeshadow, and once again, I'm going to work this into the inner corner of the eye, deep into the socket, and the very outer corner of the eye, sweeping out towards the tail of the eyebrow, just to define it a little bit further. With a pencil brush, I'm going to go back into that olive green eyeshadow and a touch of that deep green eyeshadow, and I'm going to work this into my bottom lash line just to really smoke it out and kind of create a more rounded eye shape. And you can take that crease brush and just blend it out to make it a little bit softer. With an angled eyeliner brush, I'm going to dip into some black eyeshadow, and I'm just going to line the bottom part of my eyebrow and extend the tail. Since I decided not to cover my eyebrows for this look, I still want to create a bit of a 1920 shape, and then I'm just going to seal that with a little bit of eyebrow gel. With a little bit of black liquid eyeliner, I'm going to line my top lash line very thinly. I don't want to create a super thick line, and I actually want the end of my eyeliner to be relatively blunt. Next, I'm going to take that eyeliner and create tiny little baby eyelashes on my bottom lash line. Keep them short, but spaced out. After your eyeliner has fully dried, go back in with that pencil brush and that olive green eyeshadow and sweep that onto your bottom lash line just to soften the liner a bit. Next, take a black mascara and go ahead and apply mascara to your tops and bottom eyelashes just to coat them because of the fallout. I am taking a spaced out spiky flared eyelash and just popping that onto my top lash line. I also tested out a different style that I also liked, but ultimately decided to just stick with the one eyelash. With a rounded blush brush, I'm going to pick up a very corally orange blush, preferably something matte, although this one was satin, and I'm going to apply this to the very top of the apples of my cheeks, and I'm going to sweep that up underneath my eye, into my temples, and a little bit on my nose. Now, this is a blush heavy look, so don't be afraid to pile it on. With that same blush brush, I'm going to pick up a matte red and a matte orange eyeshadow and mix them together and I'm going to apply them to the highest point of the apples of my cheeks just to really get that nail brinkly blushed look. Now I'm taking a Dusty Rose blush and I'm going to work that more towards the inner parts of the apples of the cheeks to kind of create a gradient. And now I'm just topping that off with a little bit of loose face powder. To get those rosebud lips, take a wine colored lip liner and at the center of your top lip, create a little U and go ahead and curve up over the top of your lip. And as you get towards the outer corner of your mouth, kind of sloop downwards and have that line fall within your lip line. So you want the center of your lips to be overlined while you have the outer part of your lips be underlined. And that's going to create that rosebud shape that uses your entire lip versus doing that Winifred Sanderson look. And with a berry colored lipstick, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my entire lip shape. And I'm also using this to just kind of perfect and tweak the lines a little bit more. Ultimately, I decided on going for a more corally orange lip. So with a tiny little brush and some matte red and matte orange eyeshadow, I'm going to press this onto the existing lip color. So in retrospect, <laughs> you could probably just use a corally orange red lipstick to begin with. Or if you liked that berry lip that we started out with, you can definitely keep that lip color. 
but um, I actually really liked how this combo turned out. I want to go even rosier, so with that rounded powder brush, I'm going to dip into a matte berry red eyeshadow. And I'm going to go ahead and tap this onto my palette just to disperse the color a bit more. And I'm going to apply that to the very tops of the apples of my cheeks, underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to set that and finish it off with a little bit more powder to keep that baby doll face. And that's it. We're done with the face. And this is it for the completed look. So as promised, a little bit more about Nell Brinkley. So Nell Brinkley was an illustrator and comic artist and she created a lot of profound work during the Edwardian era going into the 1910s and 20s and really her work was able to transcend a lot of those decades and beyond. So when she gained a little bit of popularity, this was during the Edwardian era where the ideal woman was the Gibson girl. You know, very tight, corseted waists and that pigeon bust silhouette, big coiffed hair and just very soft and delicate. And she created a girl that was very much anti that. She wore looser garments of clothing and was seen doing things that you wouldn't necessarily expect a woman to do. <laughs> and she had short cropped curly hair or if her hair was long, it was down instead of pulled back up. And her girls had a lot of makeup, heavily blushed cheeks and very dramatic eyes. And of course that kind of like petal shaped lip and she basically created, in that time, the modern woman. And um, of course, because of that, had a lot of appeal to younger women. And I feel like was one of those early prototypes for what we know as the flapper style. So pretty cool. And I just think really inspiring. And I, I mean, if you see her art, I think you'd be inspired too. I love it. And I was staring at it for a while wishing that I could be one of those girls. And um, a couple of months back, I had done a Nell Brinkley inspired look. I posted it on Instagram. You guys liked it. And I decided that I would recreate it today, months later. <laughs> um, but this look wasn't only inspired by Nell Brinkley. I was also heavily inspired by Tin Pan Alley songbook covers. In particular, one that was for the song, Give Me a Little Kiss, Will Ya, Huh? Um, which has this really fantastic girl on the cover who sort of has this like side part French bob. And yeah, I feel like the Brinkley girl and then that one specific <laughs> songbook cover is an inspiration for this. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say. I don't wanna talk too much. But um, thank you so much for watching. As always, I will leave a list of all the products that I use down below in the description box. I'm also going to link a few other things. I found um, a song called The Nell Brinkley Girl, which was in Ziegfeld Follies in 1908. And it didn't have any lyrics because there's no recording of the song where someone's singing it. But um, you could read the lyrics on screen and hear the music being played and you should definitely check it out because it is kind of sweet. And um, I think that's about it. I'm gonna link my social media and all that stuff down below too because I get asked all the time and usually I have it down below. Like if you're interested in like my Tumblr or Instagram or Twitter or whatever, um, that will also be down below. Okay, so it's been a while. I feel a little rusty and I feel like I'm talking in circles. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, until next time. Bye.